no, 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 lollies, lolly. Oh no! Hey, what's up, guys? Malt here, and we are here playing something called Hush Little Lily. Okay, so Hush Little Lily uh, is game. Okay, so here's actually here's actually the deal. You might have recently watched a series of our little mini game I played called The Candy Scabs. Well, that is a part of several submissions that have been created for a game jam. That's, um, you know, it's supposed to basically be Halloween themed scary visual novels. Okay? And this is another one of those entries. If it's good or not, who knows? Apparently there are three CGs. I'm sure all of these CGs are very wholesome. I'm sure nothing bad is gonna happen to poor little girl over here named Lily. And I'm sure this song is not foreboding at all. So why don't we just, uh, play the game? Actually, yeah. It's a visual. Dear Diary, in here, Lily can change how loud and fast things will be. It's like magic. I actually thought the fast things was actually going to be some gameplay thing, but it means tech speed. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. It's time. How would you like to be addressed as? Uh, Mr. Missy... I don't know how to pronounce that. I know that's like an inclusivity thing. I, just, I don't know how to pronounce that. Mr. Ooh, I like it so far. You open your eyes. The room feels just as it did before you fell asleep. Cold, you know, yes. Wow, this little girl has some really good freaking vocabulary. Cold, inhospitable, rank with the stench of humidity and rust. There's barely any light to guide. Actually, maybe I'm not Lily. Apparently, I missed her, so maybe Mr. Mr. Tosier here is like actually a genius. There is barely any light to guide your way, but you've adjusted to the darkness for so long, you don't really need it. Your heart is pounding excite- I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let me turn it up a little, just in case. You guys probably hear it. Your heart is pounding excitedly and then you hear it. Her voice. A, gar a girl is crying not too far away. And a gentle breeze filters through the unlocked door. Click icon to view interactable objects. The more you interact, the more you'll know. Okay. Oh, it's like Danganronpa. Ooh, food. An empty food bowl. Even if it's failed, you aren't going to touch it. A reminder of the world a prisoner may never see again. I thought it was supposed to be a world that still exists and you should probably work towards getting towards by being a good... Samaritan or... Ooh, is that a map? Okay, let's go over here. The door was made heavy and thick so no one can break it down easily. It's usually tightly closed, but tonight... Gonna be a good night! Because it's unlocked. You're free to go. It's now or never. Ooh. You can only save in certain hallways. Be sure to keep a lookout for the icon. Oh, boy. How involved is this game? Alright, let's... let's I'm gonna save here. The f number four is a good number, right? It's good luck in every region in the world, especially Asia. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, I went to the right door? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I thought right was gonna be a bad door. The cell's door opens very slowly. This one feels heavier despite, despite you... This one feels heavier despite you knowing for a fact it is not. This room's just like the one before, but the, but a girl is inside. A small, frail-looking little girl. Bound by the ankle by a shackled chain to the floor, she was kept so tantalizingly close to a stool, standing right in front of her, with the shiny brass key to her freedom sitting on top. It's, okay, I've never been- I've never been bonded to a- to an iron- like a ball, okay? Or brass ball, or the fuck. Or just he heavy ball, okay? But, since it's a, it's a ball, isn't it like much, it's not that much effort to roll it if you really needed to? Like, couldn't you just roll it, even if you're a little girl? Like, slowly? Or is she just really stupid? Oh well. I'm not, you know what, maybe let's not think about it. All just away from, an, an, away enough from the girl so that if she crawled and stretched her arms, she couldn't touch it. Yeah, but I still think you could be able, you could roll it with a little bit of effort, maybe? No, I don't know. Maybe I'm not understanding how ball and chains work. Holy shit! She's not even. This is not even a jump scare. She just got up. I didn't expect. Okay, who who's there? 
Wait, whenever she talks, is a little panda bear? Oh, she's fucking dead, dude. She asks. She's probably noticed. She probably noticed you're not the one she expects. Your breathing is much less pronounced. Your presence just not terrifying compared to it. The girl stares at you, feeling mixing, feelings mixing in her bright little eyes. Are you with the monster? Wait, where's the bear? Leave Lily alone. Oh, there it is. Leave Lily alone. Is that just a random? What the hell is that? Is that supposed to be like her nervousness in a line, or is that a strand of hair, or is that a mistake? I don't know. Lily wants to go back to mommy and daddy. She backs away from you and against the wall. Well, her wall. Against the wall, her little hands quickly covering her. I'm having a hard time reading this font. On the verge of tears, about to break down crying some more. Uh. Okay, so there's the asshole route. But we all know I'm not an asshole. I don't like, I don't let little girls die, okay? Especially on the first playthrough. I am a friend. You try to gently reassure the little girl that you're here to help. Little girl, I'm here to help you. Please let me help you. But she doesn't listen. But she, uh, she just keeps shaking her head at every word. She will need proof. Okay, here's a key. A shiny brass key resting on the wooden stool. Perfect fit for a heavy lock. Yep, lock. You approach the little girl, key in hand. I'm going to save you, little girl. Her whole body trembles in fear like a trapped tiny animal. I just realized, look how tiny it is on the sprite. That's just, that's like, that's like a two millimeter long chain. Her whole body trembles in fear like a trapped tiny animal, but she's a key in your hand. Still scared, but hopeful, she stares at you. Why is there a line there? That's just bothering me, bro. Is that actually part, supposed to be there? She's shaking so much, it's making this difficult. You have to calm her down. Hush, little lady. I mean, girl, don't say a word because I don't know your name. I'm going to get you a mockingbird. I think I said that too fast. And if that mockingbird don't see, I'm going to get you a diamond. And if that mockingbird don't sing and the ring don't shine, I'ma break that buddy's neck. I'ma go back to the dealer who sold it to you. Okay. <clears throat> As you sing, the girl slowly calms down. Recognition in her eyes. She knows this song. Oh yeah, I sort of do too. Someone has sung it to her before. When she finally stops shivering, you carefully open the lock on her shackle and let it fall. Her ankle is bruised just like her palms are sweaty and his knees weak and her knees weak and arms are heavy and there's also vomit on her sweater already gruel she must have she must have tried very hard to reach the key before thank you it was nothing you you offer her a smile which she sheepishly returns what's your name lily what's your name mister uh i'm mr tosier don't worry about it. Mr. Toastier is good for now. She doesn't seem very fully convinced by this, but not. We have to get out of here. Why am I such a sus? Bro, why do I just get... Please. You really think I can trust a little girl with my name? Someone as important as me? You call me Mr. Okay? You don't need to know stuff like this. We have to get out of here fast. Oh, right. The monster is coming back. It said it was going to eat Lily. It said Lily is never seeing Mommy and Daddy again. There are no such thing as monsters. Only misters. The girl tears up a little more. You gently pat her back to reassure her. <laughs> it's all good. You're get you're getting out and back to you're getting out and back to them. You have to have hope. Don't give in to despair. Yeah. Lily have to stay hopeful. Lily have to go to grammar class too. The girl attempts to be brave and puffs her chest, even though she looks somewhat hesitant. Dude, is she like T pose? Let's get out of here together. Okay, but we're not running into the wall. I don't know why you're facing that way. Let's hurry. Let's get out of here together. Let's hurry. Okay. Lily looks between you and the door, eagerly waiting to leave. So, about the monster. It's a terrible thing. Lily was just... Why did I just bring this up? Lily was just out picking flowers and it grabbed Lily by the neck. The girl held her own throat, caressing the area. It was like right here, this neck. I got... Oh, it was like right by the neck. Like, when Lily woke up, Lily was here, and the monster was looking at Lily. It's, it is big and wide and mean. It has an ugly, ugly face. Man, I feel like she's just she's just describing me. 
It's always laughing at Lily. I'm not laughing at Lily. I'm laughing with Lily. The little girl pouts. It's gonna be all right. The monster is gone. There is only Mister. For now. <laughs> For now. Am I the? I'm, I'm actually the monster, aren't I? Yes. Let's go quick before it comes back. Also, I didn't realize that I randomly thought talked about how excited I was earlier when I was sitting in a prison cell. Maybe I didn't understand the situation, but what? All right. I'm just gonna. Also, why do I have Lily's diary? Why am I saving in Lily's diary? Man, you know what? I'm actually evil, aren't I? Let's play hide and seek! As soon as you open the door, you can smell the fetid scent of the blood in the air. It's flesh. Flesh. Oops. Fresh and cold. Rustier than any old iron chain. The room inside has no windows or furniture. The shackles have been ripped off the walls, leaving nothing behind. On the wall, someone has left a message painted in bright red blood. On the wall, someone has left a message in really dark black ink, which might have a hint of red in it. And you, and I ha and you have a feeling that you know who the sender was. It says, uh, let's play. Oh, that's what we're doing right now. Hide and seek. Oh. Okay, is that a good game? So is it, is it trying to tell me to make a series on a game called Hide and Seek? All right, I better write this down real quick. I, might, I better do what the monster says, or I might, you know, I might not be in a good situation. This was recent, too recent. And they used way more blood than necessary, making each letter drip more and more until forming a puddle of blood on the floor underneath. Yeah, but this guy here looks pretty happy. This skeleton's like smiling, man. The girl covers his mouth to not let out a scared squeak, shivering in place. But it is not really certain if it was because of the message or the yellowish skull so casually thrown in the corner of this room. Is it yellowish? It kind of looks really nice and healthy and white. It looks really healthy. Like, whoever this guy, whoever died here really liked his calcium intake. Like, he had healthy, strong bones. Lily's starting to get overwhelmed by the terrifying message on the wall and skull on the Why do I, why am I just having Lily sit here staring at it silently? Look away and you'll be fine. True, dude. True. Good, yo, good. I'm just, no wonder I don't have kids. No wonder Mr. doesn't have kids. Or maybe he does. Maybe he's the one who strangled her and got her here. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, we'll leave, okay? We'll leave, all right? We'll go to this door. He's locked. Oh, what should we do? Do we need to find another key? You know what? It's in the skull. I can tell already. Look away, Lily. Oh, did I not click this? The game starts. Lily has been trembling in- wait, what? Wait, what, what, what? The game starts? What the hell are you talking about? Lily has been trembling in place for the enti this entire time, paralyzed by fear. Her eyes practically glued to the wall. Let's play hide and seek. Are we playing a game with the monster? This is not a nice game. Lily, Lily doesn't want to play. She might break into tears again. Offer her a hug or pat her head. Okay, well, I just met this little girl. I'm going to pat her head, okay? I ain't crazy, mister. Your hand gently strokes the girl's head. I'll take care of you. Everything will be fine. She sniffles, looking up to your eyes and slowly regaining her determination, nodding twice. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, mister. Okay, now can I look at the skull? You son of a... Can I look at this? Nice play, I... Can I look at you? Well, he's trembling, begging to get out already. What? What the hell was the point of that? Alright, let's leave again. Hey, Lily. I see you are thinking very hard about whatever is going on in here. She's clearly not liking this place any better than she liked her own. You said you woke up here, right, mister? It's so empty. At least Lily's room had a stool. Don't worry. No thanks. I made my own. Hmm, Lily didn't get food. What do they feed you, mister? Little children's hearts, horrible raisin cookies, gruel. Well, I made a joke about gruel, so... Ugh, Lily hates gruel. It tastes like mud and it feels like mud in your mouth too. Wait, I was actually right. The vomit on her sweater already was gruel. Did you make sure it was not mud, mister? Lily really looks at you as if you were the silly one here. I am silly. Why didn't I think of that before? It's so high up, mister. Can you lift Lily up to see? You comply to her request. Oh, it's covered. What? So how? I don't even see the sky then? What do you mean it's covered? Are you sure the Lily of the window still covered? She pouts sadly. She was so happy to see the outside world. Wait, I should have clicked her. Hold on. 
She's going to... Oh, oh, I already did that. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Shackle ball. It looks uncomfortable beyond belief. Lily gently rubs her, rubs her ankles just by looking at it. Stool where the key rested. Now it's no use. Lily walks over to the window and tries to reach it. It's too tall for her. It doesn't seem to be boarded up, though. Give me a lift, Lily. No, I'm extremely weak. There's no time to loose. He looks down, Potter, and you actually better agree. Wait, 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 I... What? No, no, I thought it was gonna let me ask again. Nah, nah, nah. 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 Nah, nah. no. How do I load? Bro, how do I load? How do I load? Bro, how do I... Bro, bro, how do I load the game? How do I, how do I go back? What happened? Where'd I go? Why am I here? Who am I? Who are, who's am I do, what am I doing? Who am I, 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 gotta, I gotta click something, right? Uh, options. Load. Yes. Okay, let's uh, redo everything I just did real quick. Because I don't want to be an asshole. Sorry. This is not, this is not important. Uh, gruel. I ate gruel. Yes, you can go up. It's all covered up, though, but you're going to do it. Let's go. Mm, it's covered. Yes, great. Now we go back here. And then I, ta I tell you to go here. Wait, did I interact with that? Nah, whatever. Yes, I can lift you, Lily. You hold Lily and gently raise her up to look out the window. What do you see? Not much. It's dark. It's super late. Mommy will get very mad at Lily. Oh, I don't think I missed anything there. But maybe that... You know you know what? That's going to lead me towards the good ending where every everything is okay. Right, guys? Right? Right. Did I already interact with Spooky Bones? No, I didn't do this yet. Pat her head. Look away and you'll be fine. All right, let's stop skipping now. How do I? How do I stop? Bro, how do I? How do I stop the skipping? How? Bro, how do I stop? Okay, it stopped. I think. Right? Okay. Cool. Now what do I do? That didn't help me at all. What should we do? Do we need to find another key? Yeah, apparently we do, and I can't find one in these very few hallways that there are. Am I are, am I stuck in this game right now? I guess we better uh, do this. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Old wall lamps that light your way. Wow! That's crazy! Uh, okay. Okay. How am I stuck? Bro, how am I stuck already? Wait, the chains! Lily doesn't like chainy things. They look like it will hurt your throat a lot. And these look so small. The little girl feels up her neck. These are made for adult wrists like mine. Want to try them on? What the fuck, dude? Oh, oh, Lily made a mistake, but that sounds much better. The least eyes in relief, but it soon fades. It looks, still looks hurty, though. It is very hurty. You're correct. Bro, I'm trying to play hide and seek right now. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's right there. You kneel close to the pool of blood underneath and saw a key. You take the key, Lily gasps. How many of you guys saw that key this whole time and were yelling at me? I'm sorry. That, was, that shit was really hide and seek. Don't touch that, it's dirty. Maybe, it's, maybe the key is important. We can't leave it behind. Can't you clean it at least? This must have let you use your sleeve to clean the blood off. What, I have a sleeve? Damn, I'm freaking posh. To clean the blood off the brass key. It's sticky, but it goes away fast. Okay, okay, now it looks good to Lily. Jeez. Use the key. The key you found fits the lock. Ooh, look at this place. There's a huge gaping hole on the right. Let's not go there. You careful look down the hole. It's way too deep. The fall down here would be fatal. You squint your eyes to see further down the road. I mean, da further down. Is this the Looney Tunes tunnel? Are we going to see... That's all, folks. Scare. I was about to make a jump scare joke, and then Lily jump scared me again. I really wish I was more audible when I get jump scared, but I got jump scared. What are you looking at, mister? We have to jump across this hole. What? No, we don't. Let me save. Let's go. Lily looks behind herself and turns to you. Nope. Lily can't jump over that. Lily will fall. 
Yeah, you're too short. Bet you never ate your What the f- why is this- why is this my only option? <gasps> Lily does. Lily eats them all. And the way she refused to maintain eye contact, it's easy to tell she's lying. If you did eat them, you'd be big and strong like me. What the fu- Bro, what is wrong with Mr. Mr. Toaster is a piece of shit. Then you could jump over this hole. Why am I- why am I just negging Lily for not being able to jump over a hole? Why don't I just yeet her over because I'm an adult here? Lily crosses her arms and pouts. Let's find something to make a bridge. Meanie. Yeah, I am a fucking meanie. Dude, tell him. Tell me. Old wall- okay. Ooh. The room beyond that old door was a kitchen. The bulky, the bulky metallic stove was perfectly dusted off and maintained. Constantly used. Might even be a still bit of still bit of- holy shit. It might even still be a little- oh my god, might even be a still- be still a bit warm. Lily is restlessly looking around the room despite her mood improving so much and she's still anxious about getting out. While walking around, little Lily's feet tripped over a few pebbles on her way and she falls right on her knees. Oh, that's bad. The floor is cobbled so the hit is quite harsh. She recoils in pain, quickly quickly sitting on her behind and holding her nef left knee. Ah. Oh. Oh. Luckily it was just a scrape. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, I... Oh, oh. It hurts. You're quick to go to her, caressing her head to calm her down. Oh god damn it. <coughs> Hush little Lily, don't you cry. Everything's gonna be Alright. It will hurt more if you whine the fuck that's terrifying. Don't you weep, it'll just be fine. I didn't even fucking sing that properly. Tears seem to stop. Lily likes it when you sing, mister. Lily is sorry for crying. It's okay, it looks painful. You're very strong. Oh, now I'm gonna say she's a strong girl, bro. Just don't cry next time. I kinda, I wanna pick all the asshole answers, but I also don't because I feel like a fucking asshole. It looks painful. You're a very strong girl. Yeah, it didn't hurt that much. So Lily can take it. And she's sad in the corner. Frown is on her face. When Lily fell, Lily's dress got dirty. Mommy's gonna be so mad. The girl starts patting herself, trying to dust her dress off. Mommy will be so angry, she'll hit Lily again. Oh, God. No, 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 Lolly's Lolly. Oh, no, fuck. <laughs> Lily, sorry. Lily, so sorry. I swear to... She looks like she's going to be... She looks like she's about to cry, but seems to be trying so hard not to. You you <laughs> kneel close to the girl and carefully help her brush remaining dirt off. Lily's dress is is Lily's dress ruined forever, Mister? No. <laughs> well, mommy. Okay, this is fucked up though. I should be laughing at this. I'm laughing at me saying lolly. Well, mommy hit Lily. This is Lily's only dr uh, good dress. Don't worry. It can be washed with water. And I'm, I'm just gonna not talk about mommy hitting her. Okay, it'll be washed with water and it'll be clean as new. She sighs in relief. Good, mommy is scary when she's mad. Lily doesn't want to be in trouble. Is this gonna be a... Oh, is this like a... Is the monster... Is this just a, is this just a game about child abuse? Is that what the real message is here? Is it not actually a monster? But who the hell is Mr.? Why am I even here? I hope Mr.... I really hope Mr.'s not a bad dude. You won't be. I'm sure mommy loves you no matter what. She finally smiles. It's a beautiful dress, by the way. Your mommy has good taste. Thank you, Lily loves this- Why would I compliment the mommy that beats her? I should say Lily has good taste. It is super special since mommy bought it. With money! Not all dressed like the rest. When you're done cleaning her- Once you're done cleaning her, Lily twirls in place to her little skirt off. She seems at ease once more. One day, Lily will buy more dresses. This one will always be Lily's favorite. Okay. What else can I interact with here? Oh, oh god. Okay, let's, let's press everything. Ew, a cockroach. That's already the jump scare. Okay, what's in here, though? Come on, I can already see the full cupboard. Why am I slowly panning down with my eyeballs? Okay. Alright, it's just cockroaches. What do you see? 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 No matter how much he tries to jump, Lily couldn't reach the cabinets. There are a few teddy bears in a hot dog stand. Really? No, no, no. Her eyes are now full of excitement and wonder. What is wrong with me? No, it's empty. Stop teasing, Lily. The girl pouts, softly punching your leg. Oh, my leg! Maybe the monster doesn't keep human food because it eats little children. Mommy would always tell Lily to be a good girl because the monster will come eat hottie, 
Hottie. Naughty children. Maybe Lily is here to... Maybe Lily is here in the monster's house because Lily is a bad girl. I don't think you're a bad girl. You think so? Yeah, but I've also just met you, so maybe, I don't know, you could be like a convicted criminal or something. I wouldn't know. I'm just kind of, you know, just putting together two and two and, and inferring from the information that I have, honestly, Lily, but yeah, okay. You think so? Thank you, mister. All right, uh, let's go over here. You reach for the tap and slowly open it. Water. For a moment, nothing happens, and then to, uh, the old metallic sound starts to shake in place. A deep, low growl starts escaping from its dusty tip, and, as soon, as, and soon it turns to a rusty, groaning howl. But then it spits. Little bursts of muddy, filthy water. Gruel! The howl stops as the water starts to run, cleaner and cleaner, until it's looking pristine and fresh. Lily smiles, excited. May Lily take a sip? You gently pick her up and take and get her close to the water. So, wow, why? Who who knows if they even if they even clean this water, bro? I mean, obviously she has been on in a while. Cold. Surprised but delighted, she takes her sweet time, finally satiating her thirst. Do you want to try it, Mister? It's very good. Lily, Lily loves fresh water. Sure. You lean over and take a sip. I guess nothing bad happened because it just continued the game. This stove looks like it was used frequently. There's a kettle on top, which still has some water inside. Maybe I should have kettled the water. Um, is she just gonna die of, like, fucking water disease? Lily gets closer to the shelves trying to find anything that can be of use, but there's no such luck. What is this noise? Is she just going through it? This place is clean. At least clean of anything remotely useful or interesting. What do you think the monster cooks here, mister? Uh... Cookies? Don't be silly, mister. Everyone knows monsters hate dessert. If they like sweets, they wouldn't eat people. Silly, mister. <laughs> my bad, bro. My bad. Alright? Where did I come in from? Oh, oh, wait, there's a plank here, bro. Excitedly points you to a very heavy, thick, completely out of place plank. Yeah, that is a very out of place plank. She's so proud of her finding and lifting her nose and smiling. Silly found a big log. It'll be a great bridge. Actually, you stupid kid, it's a plank, not a log. You ruffle the girl's hair. Stupid ass kid. You're very sharp. You'll make a very great detective. You could even call yourself Herlock Sholmes. He. By the way, that's not, that's not a log, it's a wooden board, idiot. Logs and boards are the same, right? They're wood. You shake your head. Well, Lily is still calling it a log. Fuck you, mister. The pouty girl refuses to admit her mistake and proceeds to try to move the log. Her tiny arms are not strong enough to carry it. Well, maybe you'd be able to carry it if it was a plank, little girl. Fearing that it might in fact crush the little girl. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. You hurry to take the log yourself. You're very strong, mister. Okay, what is this door? I don't like that noise. You know, if you look at this room from like really far away, it looks like a really angry face. Like look, like this is the eye, this is the right eye, the left eye. And then there's like, it's just, that's his nose and he's like, mm, why are you looking at me on the highway? I should probably not go in there just yet. Hold on, you know, one sec, guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not go over there real quick. Just one second. I'm just gonna be over here. Did that shadow just walk over the fucking hole and die? You saw me see a shadow be passed by. Lily holds your sleeve and pulls gently. She whispers, "Is that the monster? It hasn't seen us yet. Let's wait for it to pass." You nod and staring into the hallway. The monster disappeared off too. Its footsteps were no longer audible. So Lily sighs and you smile at her. Good thing we waited, aren't you a smart cookie? Hee 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 I don't know, did he, he literally, seriously looked like he just ran over the freaking gap. The room feels cozy. It's such a nice dining room. Lily has never been in one this, like this before. The little girl wanders in, her steps are becoming more and more caught, much more cautious. She seems afraid of breaking or touching anything. Well, there's a lot of stuff for break. Lily picks up the broom and starts to sweep. Lily loves to help at home. Lily tries hard to be good so mommy will smile more. Your mommy must be proud of you. She smiles and nods. Very proud of herself. I thought she was saying that her mommy smiles and nods. That was a narration. The thing I've used on this table or under it's just a very sturdy piece of wood. Lily, however, is fully interested. She carefully caresses the surface with an open hand, uh, cleaning the dust and revealing the glossy surface. It's so nice, not like the one we have at home. Daddy says we can't afford nice things. I'm sure daddy is doing his best to provide. Sometimes it's hard for adults. 
Oh, Lily knows that Daddy works really hard. That's why he sleeps a lot. Yes, he's working very hard on the couch, being asleep. You know so much about Daddy. Do you know him? Am I Daddy? Is Mr. Oh God, is Mr. Daddy? Oh, Lily thought you did since he works hard and goes out often. And how can you be so sure if you don't know Daddy? It's obvious because that's what daddies do when they can't buy nice things. It's just a guess. Sure, whatever, I guess. So what happens to more people? Wow. Lily let out a soft exclamation while looking at the displayed plates. Each little piece of porcelain looks simple, fragile, and incredibly expensive. When Lily grows up, Lily wants to have a big house and buy cute things like these to show them off. Why are people so interested in plates in a cupboard? The little girl look, turns to look at you. When Lily is a grown-up, she will invite Mr. to look at Lily's cute things. Promise. Okay. Sure. I don't like that phrasing, but sure. There, it's a it's a fixed window so that you aren't able to open it. The glass also seems to be very sturdy. Here, a closer look. Oh, what the fuck is Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas doing here? Something is right outside. I stared back and smelled smirking from side to side. The girl screams and you hold her tight in response. You take a second glance. It's an odd mask hanging on an iron bar outside the window. The girl sighs. Lily hates this place. She hates it so much. The girl get, hugs you close, letting out a few sniffling son of a bitches. Lily wants to leave. Okay, well thanks for that game. I'm, I'm leaving now. Let's go into the hallway of jump scares too. I want to see that jump scare. Hold on. Actually, before I do that, I gotta save. All right, hallway of jump scares it is. Let's go. Two windows facing one another, but both are barred. Dead end. Is it because I'm gonna die? It's a dead end. What the fuck? An act? Oh, am I gonna have to remember that if I'm running from a monster or some shit? Alright, well now I know where the dead end is, so... Carefully put down the plank on the floor and making sure it stays nice and firm above the pitfall. A bridge has been made. Ta-da! We're so smart. I don't know how long this game is. A bridge stands above the pitfall. It's not exactly sturdy, but it... Oops. I clicked something by accident, but I guess I'll just save real quick. Oh, I clicked save by accident. But it will have to do. You easily jump over to the other side and wait for Lily to join you. Why did I do that? She looks at the plank in the hole, hesitant. Hold my hand if it'll make you feel better. How small is this pit? It's not really hard, easy to see. Yes, thank you, mister. You, Lily grabs your hand and takes her first step on the bridge. She tries to be brave, keeping her eyes closed, but she squeezes her hand as she tries not to look down. After a few more steps, she finally crosses over to the dark side. Another woman crying, but not a woman this time, not a girl. As soon as you enter the room, the distant sobs of a woman suddenly echo in the hall. That sounds like a lady in trouble. Mister, do you think there's the more little rooms where monsters keep people? Anywho, we have to help her. The lights suddenly switch off in the room and dark. What was that? Why is it suddenly dark? Lily clenches the hem of your shirt. Are you scared? <laughs> I say the weirdest shit, mister. Lily hesitantly shook her head. More importantly, the lady must be in trouble. We have to help her. So we're going to end this episode here. We'll figure out who this new crying woman is on the next one, which will be hopefully releasing tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please leave a like down below. It helps me a lot. And we will try to finish this game on the next one. Man, that's a, this crying is a very long recording. All right. Well, if you haven't already, please subscribe for more, leave a like, and also leave a comment about what you think so far about what is going on in this interesting game. And always, and as always, I hope you guys all have a great day. I am really messing up this outro. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.